The market is overloaded with any kind of products across all industries. And sometimes it's not easy at all to understand or verify which product is good and which not. And how to measure a product as good or bad? Low or high quality is something I verify with usage and so only after purchase. But how can I make sure what I intend to buy is good before spending my money for it? In fashion, there is a large package of verification standards to go along uh, the product itself. These verifications goes much beyond low or high quality and covers areas like sustainable derivate or prime materials, aka recycling, consciously designed path for uh, the afterlife process of this product, aka does it end in landfill or goes back in a production chain brought in the state of fiber, or uh, healthy work and mental conditions for the people who assisted the entire production process and many other aspects to consider. Now, I'm not an expert in all certifications on earth. For some industries, as food an example, I know really the consumer bases such as AB or Rainforest Alliance People in Nature. But for someone who works in fashion and textile, I can definitely say my understanding and so opinion about this industry is quite large. I would like to share it with you and bring you as well as much clarity as possible. Today, we're gonna see how to choose the right products for you, your home, wardrobe and environment. Hello, I'm Alexandra and I welcome you to Brave New World. If you have seen my other videos, you must know by now here we discuss fashion, planet and self-love. All of these three in complete harmony with one another. If you are new on this channel, I invite you to stay until the end of this video where we are going to talk about all base certifications in the fashion industry that proves your garment is good or maybe not for you and your planet. First of all, I would like to underline three different points which we are not going to go into details in this video but must be kept in mind if you don't want brands to take advantage of you and your money. First, sustainable fabrics. Two, certificated as sustainable garments. And three, green wash. Okay, keep these three points in mind. We are gonna come back to them at the end of the video. And so you will be able to make the difference between those three with the correct proper examples. Now, let's move to certifications. In fashion industry, there are more and more certifications that have been created. Some of them regard the fabric itself, some the social and environmental impact, others the entire production and supply chain. I'm gonna start with the one that is more complete as keep into consideration more parameters. So the first one is GOTS. God stays for Global Organic Textile Standards and certificates the biological composition of fabrics, traceability of product in biofiber, compliance with social and environmental criteria, and safety of product. But what does that mean exactly? Well, in September 2015, member countries of the United Nations adopt a set of humanitarian and environmental goals such as end poverty, protect the planet, ensure prosperity for all thanks to sustainable development agenda. Each goal has and is a specific target area to be achieved by 2030. There are 17 sustainable development goals and the certification goals actually helps to ensure compliance with each one of these 17 goals. I'm not going to list all of these goals, although I would love to, but then this video will be endless. Instead, I will leave you a link here below and I absolutely encourage you to check on it and let me know what your feelings are in regard in the comments. Some of the goals God's covers are number one, no poverty by making sure workers are paid fairly. Number two, zero hunger, which means crop rotation farming, which means farmers, Farmers from organic plantations are growing organic food as well to contribute in this way to food security and reduction of hunger. Three, health and well-being that translates um, into no dangerous pesticides and synthetic fertilizers. 
Number five, gender equality that applies to absolutely all stages of textile process and ensures gender, marital status, sexual orientation, and so on do not affect in any way healthy working conditions. Seven, affordable and clean energy. Here, God requires um, to keep until a certain number the energy consumption per kilogram per kilogram of textile output. <laughs> 11. Sustainable cities and communities stay for limited overtime at, work, at the workplace, which means employees would have more time for themselves, their families, and so to grow their contentment, which will build stronger communities. 13. Climate action. Uh, legal norms for air pollution are followed in production. There, they also prohibit burning on site, controls land fueling, contributes to reduction of carbon dioxide. 12. Responsible consumption and reproduction. Basically, God's label says at least 70% of the raw materials fibers is organic. But if you see the writing organic on God's label, then this means the garment you hold in hands, in hands contains at least 95% organic fibers. So, in big line, what we saw from global organic textile standards is that the certificate is really, as you can see from its name, global, covers a lot of areas, starting with organic fibers, ecological and social standards, they have uh, third-party control inspections and goes through all processing stages of textile industry. And let me add a note here. God's is certificate that for the moment we see on slow fashion sustainable brands, but it must be applied to pret a porter and high fashion brands as well. Mm, maybe I will make another video in future regarding this. Surely God's label is not going to be possible to see on fast fashion brand. I'm gonna tell you why at the end of the video. Okay, next certifications, BCI cotton stays for the Better Cotton Initiative. It's a non-profit government organization that has as purpose grow globally cotton with better environmental imprints such as usage of less water, reduce environmental footprint and so on. However, BCI cotton is not organic cotton. Organic cotton means no fertilizers and pesticides has been used in farming, which automatically discharge BCI from this category as BCI allows certain usage of fertilizers and pesticides. Less regular farming, we agree, and very likely not as damaging, but still some chemicals has been used. BCI certification limits only to farming and growing of cotton. It doesn't expand in other areas of textile production. Just to give you an example, you can easily find BCI cotton label in fast fashion chain. But that doesn't mean the brand is more conscious. Blue Design. Blue Design Verified Data and Blue Design Product are the two labels of the company that certificate eliminated harmful substan substances at each step of the supply chain, ensuring in this way textile products are safe for environment, workers and customers. So, to make it short, it certificates used chemicals in processes, materials and uh, products are not harmful for environment and people. Cradle to Cradle is a very interesting um, concept purely based on continuous cycling process. In a matter of fact, their logo is about infinity repeating pattern. Um, in short terms, Cradle to, Car to Cradle certifies design, development and realization of products in a way there is no waste but simply, as they call them, nutrients for new product at the end life of previous product. In other words, upcycling and circular economy which automatically means positive impact on people and planet. Oecotex. The standard 100 by Oecotex certifies legal conformity of the product as guarantee it's been reliably tested for harmful substances in independent labs all around the world. It's based on modular system with close-up on raw materials, yarns, textile fabrics, assembled finished product and textile hardware such as zipper, puller and so on. All of this means when I keep in hands garment with Oecotex label, I'm sure every single button, thread, fabric and material has been tested and are danger-free for my health. 
Furthermore, the company outlines four different, um, as they call them, product classes. Product class one, articles exclusively for babies and toddlers up to three years, and it regards all products that are going in contact with the skin, such as clothes, linen, um, hygiene production products, and so on. Uh, product class 2, articles with direct contact to the skin. It could be underwear, bed linen, t-shirts, stocking, towels, and so on. Product class 3, items without direct contact with the skin, which in this case would be jackets, coats, covering pieces. And product class 4, home textiles as an example, curtains, tablecloth, carpets, and similar. As a recap, we can say we learned all Ecotex is a certificate for all kinds of textiles that make sure chemical composition of each part of certain textile product is harmless. GRS, in abbreviation for Global Recycling Standard, and is measured for tracking and verifying the content of recycled materials in a final product. It's, I believe, the standard of the future. Because in a time with such a big air and water pollution due to textile production and irrational consumption only measures a circular business model and recycled fabrics, fabrics can actually ensure future on Earth. GRS certification applies for the entire supply chain and addresses traceability, environmental uh, principles, social requirements, chemical content and labeling. Through Jure certificate, when buying something new as a consumer, you are ensured to contribute to circular economy that reduces waste. For the moment, GRS is giving for a minimum of 20% recycled materials for business to business. An example, if me, brand, buy from textile supplier, but if you as a consumer see this label on a garment, it means it contains at least 50% recycled fibers. It's actually not a bad number, but hopefully in future will increase. I would love to see a label, an example, GRS Premium that ensures minimum recycled materials of 90%. But this discussion is much more global and in order for that to happen, it will take legislation involved and more detailed recycling process for textile trash which leads to even bigger discussion of uh, proper collecting textile trash points, dedicated factories for fibers and hardware sorting and so on. 7. B Corporation It's a little different than the others, but really fundamental for the business of today and tomorrow. And although you might think, what do I care about the business, I just want to buy good for the planet and me clothes, Actually, it's really important for you as a consumer to know what it is, B Corporation. Because B Corp measures companies' entire social and environmental impact. B Corp certifies that a certain business meets high standards, accountability, transparency in supply chain, employee treatment and benefits and so on. And trust in this matter, someone who worked and has many friends and colleagues that worked in fashion industry. In big corporates. Yes, as an employee, there are many moments when you feel you have not been treated equally, for one reason or another. And this reflects on your mental health, especially in fashion. So, buying from a B Corp certified company means you're investing in people's mental and physical health as you are in yours. Okay, now let's go back to the three main points I told you about at the beginning of the video sustainable fabrics, certificated as sustainable garments, and greenwash. Now, after you heard about even just few certifications, you will be able to make the difference between these three points. An example, if fast fashion brand labels as BCI cotton an item, it doesn't mean it is a sustainable garment or this brand the good for the planet. Yes, BCI is better than normal cotton as pollutes less, but as we know, 60% of the 100 billion yearly produced garments in fast fashion ends in landfill. You buying this garment means you're doing no good because you keep supporting fast fashion. And at the other side, the brand is doing greenwash if together with the label they advertise uh, their item as sustainable. Certificated as sustainable garments comes from certificated brands and have OECOTEX and GOTS labels. Or 
some of the other stronger labels we mentioned today. I will leave in the description some certificated brands I know and purchase from them and can definitely recommend to you. Other today we outlined only some certifications in textile industry. There are so many we didn't mention about and definitely deserve, such as uh, Good Wave, Made by, OE100, PETA, Fair for Life, what else? Uh, uh, for the animals, there is RWS for wool and RAS for alpaca and really many more. So if you would like to hear about these other certificates, let me know in the comments and I will gladly make another video in regard. And feel free to leave a comment if you would like to go into details with some of the certifications we mentioned or have any questions and doubts. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, subscribe for my channel and leave a like if you feel doing it. But most of all, remember to be brave and ask all the questions about the items you purchase. Do it for a new world where all brands will be conscious and certificated as such.